done issue as well. So uh, I, I want to give you the floor to actually take the committee through. Uh, the main one is this, the Kenya-Somalia border. We start there. The other two, we, we will uh, still come back to them. So, and uh, we appreciate that uh, you are able to fast track the date of this meeting uh, forward instead of taking it to Thursday. So that is much appreciated, well noted, and uh, we hope and we wish we will uh, continue that way in future. At the times, we will try to get time to interact together, and uh, because of the basic schedules, it becomes difficult. So when we see it coming forward, uh, I think that's a good gesture. So most welcome. Thank you, Chair and um, honorable members of this committee. Let me begin by extending my gratitude to this committee for granting me this opportunity. As you have indicated, Chair, you have obliged me the request to have this meeting today. Uh, but also, before I continue, I want to also express my gratitude to you, Chair, and the committee uh, for uh, the close cooperation that you continue to enjoy with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and I want to thank you for the recent successful engagement in the process of the vetting of persons that had been nominated by the President for the appointment of his envoys uh, and uh, high commissioners in various stations. Uh, it is my desire that we shall continue working together for the interest of our great nation. I also want to thank the committee for the support you've given to the, uh, to the ministry after the engagement with the PS and the finance team at the ministry. We are glad to, uh, to express my gratitude and that of the ministry for the additional one billion uh, Kenya shillings that the committee helped us to secure. We are looking forward to this commitment coming through from the Treasury and uh, this will go a long way in terms of helping us to execute our foreign policy. Chair, I and my colleague uh, uh, C.S. Rachel Omamo uh, engaged with this committee on the 21st of February of 2019 to brief you on what uh, we call the Kenya-Somalia maritime border dispute, a matter that we consider of national importance. And during that uh, session, we promised to keep appraising, appraising this committee on a time-to-time -time basis uh, that is why I've come before this committee today, so that I can give you a brief up on the engagement we have been involved in from the 21st of February when I was here, honorable members. Because of the nature of this briefing and the interaction we expect with the committee, um, I would re it is my request that uh, this briefing be held in camera, and this is also true because uh, we've had uh, our sessions with the media uh, we've been engaging with them, we have been very open with them, and uh, we intended for this session to be for the uh, representatives of the people. So, Chair, with your indulgence, I would beg that this be a closed session. Thank you. Thank you, Chair. Um, that is in accordance with standing order number 254. But I, I, I had you, if I had you correct, you said you have had uh, sessions with the media. Yes, we have, including last Monday, Monday one week ago, I met with the members of the Media Guild, all of them, and we had an engagement that ran to almost two and a half hours. But we've also promised that uh, any time that we need to issue a media briefing for the media, we'll be happy to do so. But we would wish to engage with the committee members as a privileged group. Thank you. Because understanding order 254, um, anyone is allowed to request that the meeting be held in camera, but uh, that person will be required to state the reason why he want to be in camera. And, and the reason why I was asking um, if you have held the discussions with the media, uh, then I don't know whether there will be anything else to be to be hidden. If 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 they have been briefed. But just very briefly, uh, CS, maybe just as, uh, if you, the committee would like to hear, now that you have been having discussion with them, what are the reasons you think they should be excluded? Chair, the media has already been privileged. I have already had a session. And when we had it with them, it was their session. 
um, no member of parliament benefited from that briefing. And I think as, um, as, a, as a committee that is oversighting on the, on the ministry, uh, I just think there should be possibility for us to engage to the extent possible, as uh, guided by yourself, uh, in a privileged environment. They are the 16 years. Uh, yeah, that's what happened. Um, no, I cannot say that. Don't, don't put things in the mouth. Okay. Get it out. Uh, so that, well, it's back to you. You can see the of interest to the media. I think the standing order 254 is very clear on that. But uh, the Honorable CS should also make it a point that after a briefing with the committee, then uh, she should also attempt to brief the media, even if they are excluded part. That is only exclusion to the media itself. Thank you, Chair. Thank you. Uh, I, I heard the CS saying they have held discussion with the media and uh, they, 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 they have agreed to keep uh, you know, meeting and giving them updates. So, uh, yes, I'm being told even after this, they can be briefed. Or maybe, yes, would you like to give them a general overview and then they they, they leave? Sir, we are happy to meet with the media after this. We did that last time and we are happy to do it. Right. So... Uh, our friends of, from the fourth estate, we request that uh, you, 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 you give way and then you will meet the CS after this, as she has promised.